So here we are again. Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to Tim McLaughlin. Thank you, bud, for uh, recommending Sublime by the Gloss Shop. Secondly, thank you to the Gloss Shop for trusting me with this. Thank you for your service. Veteran-owned company. So I don't have a link, but I do know the two products in this video are on sale right now. Uh, it's like $3 or $4 off of each. Not because of me. They're sell It's just on sale. They're trying to... Uh, do something promotional for the company. Maybe they're redesigning the logo. Who knows what? They're on sale. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's get to this, guy. So Sublime. This is a waterless slash rinseless wash. There are many on the market, and i got to tell you, I find myself gravitating to two of the competitors more than I don't. Uh, there's about four or five that I've tried. <clears throat> Depending on what you're doing with heavy bug guts, I have found... It doesn't matter. This one's about Sublime. Let's see what it's all about. What I love about this product on the website, they show you how to make it for like what this would be like a maintenance wash. See how dusty that bad boy is? I want to make you cringe. So begin yelling. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is stupid, but I got to show you. You can see the dust already. You see that line? Yeah. Doug, you don't deserve that car. You just scratched it. It's very possible. Um, but I was just trying to show you. I consider this, to me, this is pretty dirty. I mean, it's not grimy or muddy. Two weeks of dust. So on this website, the gloss shop lists how to dilute this for a maintenance wash, like a weekly. How to dilute it for heavy grime. How to use it as a waterless. How to use it as a clay lube. Also, I've never seen this before. I don't, at least to the best of my memory, which is not that good. Don't make no fun of me right there, people. Um... You can use it really heavily diluted as a tire and wheel cleaner. Now, I don't know if they intend for you to mix it in the bucket, but what I did is I mixed it uh, basically 15 to 1. So in this IK sprayer, it's uh, 2 ounces in 30 ounces, so it's even heavier than they recommend. But that is for tire and wheel grime. This, 256 to 1, by the way, sublime. Three capfuls equals one ounce. So 256 to one, you're going to get two gallons of water. That's a two gallon mark right there, the top one. It's roughly two gallons. Three capfuls, 256 to one. That's your dilution ratio. People are going to say, does this micromar, does it scratch? Guess what? I'm thinking no matter what you do, with dust, unless you have some lubrication, it's gonna mar a little bit. I, I'm sorry to break everybody's heart. I know you're supposed to say, there's no way this mars. I, look, depends on you. Depends on the towels you use, how clean they are, the sterile environment. If you got dust blowing and you got um, stuff blowing out, like ferns blowing off your tree, do you have a field across the street constantly blowing dust in and on your bucket? So could I safely or honestly say you're gonna not micromar this paint honestly i don't think so but I'm, I'm living in the real world now it's designed to have good uh emulsification encapsulation um good lubricity to minimize micromarring all the waterless or rinseless products are going to be that way in my opinion it's going to depend heavily on your mitts your bucket method your towels your storage it's going to depend more on that than anything else in my opinion if i take my mitt and I do this whole car, and I never flip it, and I never dunk it, I never scrub it or rinse it, it's a good chance that I'm going to cake that pad up, that mitt up, and I'm going to just be grinding in dirt, right? So it's about a lot of things. Is it about the product? Of course it is. And I trust that all these rinseless and waterless products have good lubricity, good emulsification, good slickness. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to do two quick little examples. I'm going to do the paint. I'm going to use the towels that they sent. I'm not sure that that's what they're intended to be, but they did send some towels and that mitt that's in the bucket. Appreciate that very much. Also, what I'm going to do is use their detail spray. It's like the best logo in the industry, isn't that? I don't know. There's something about this logo. I can't place it. Something about my BMX days. This reminds me of something in my BMX days uh, in, the, in the late 70s, early 80s, and I don't know what it is. So anybody knows... Maybe it was just a popular faded paint job, kind of going colors like this on the BMX frames in the 80s. I think that might be what it is, because I was going to do a three colors of blue on my PK Ripper, kind of fading out like this. 
irrelevant. Let's just get to it. So let's start with the tire and wheel. I'm gonna use the trigger wash or the waterless. Let's just see what happens here. Now this is extra heavy mixed here. This is diluted, um, less dilute than the uh, rinseless product guys. Because I'm using it as a waterless, a trigger form. <clears throat> it's more concentrate, what I'm looking for. It's more concentrate. Plus, we're doing a tire and wheel. So, I'm going to spray it on. You got to give it a little bit of time to work. It's got to loosen up that grime. It's got to surround the particles. So, what I'm going to do is they're clean and dry. Uh, auto fiber, really good quality, quality yarn. So they're good towels. To be honest, I can't tell if that was micro marring that. I can't tell any scratching. I didn't hear no dragging. I'm just going to say from the naked eye, average person looks great. Now, you could always use three or four towels per wheel if you're afraid of scratching, right? Obviously, the more you flip, the more you swap out, uh, the less likely it will be that you're dragging or grinding in any dirt. It's already hot enough to dry out that tire, though. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and drag this around the tire real quick. So there you go. Pretty flipping amazing, honestly. That's the one thing when I use other uh, waterless or rinseless products, when I do tires and wheels, I don't feel like I get them that clean. That right there really lifted the dirt and grime, I think. To me, that was a winning combination. So, um, two ounces and 30 ounces of water. That could be mixed two ounces of Sublime to 30 ounces of water. I did 28 ounces of water, two ounces of Sublime. So it's even a little more concentrate than they recommend. So right out of the gate, I think that's a winning combination there as a trigger wash or spray wash, waterless wash. What we're gonna do now though, I'm gonna have to lift up the tripod. I'm gonna soak it with my waterless, which is the trigger. Yeah, leave you right there. Give it a second to work. I'm gonna use the towels they sent me. In a baggie, they were not laundered. So let the hate begin. Now, for a little extra slickness on that panel, I'm gonna use their detail spray for some uh, kind of protection of micro marring, not necessarily protection of the paint, which it will protect, but <clears throat> we're trying to lessen the scratches, right? Using the trigger wash or the waterless, which is ironic because it's made of water. That's just what they call it. Now I'm gonna use the rinseless method, which is in the bucket, 256 to one with their mitt Oh dang, that is slick. Holy crap. Every product I use like this, I feel a difference. It seems like technology is getting better. I don't know what's in this. That remind well, doesn't matter what it reminds me of. Super slick, guys. I can't believe that right there. Probably the slickest I've used. Before I dry, I'm gonna put a spritz or two of their detail spray on. Let's see what happens. So, yeah, I was going to say I see some high spots, but I don't really. It flashed off. Well, it's hard to do with a sticky hand. Yeah, I can't tell slickness. My fingers are wet. But look at that panel. Look at that. So Tim, the gloss shop, five thumbs up on this one. I'm going to tell you something. 
<laughs> and I'm not trying to be that guy that says everything I use and try is the slickest I've tried. That's the slickest I've tried. So Tim, you were not wrong. He said, Tim McLaughlin, this is my favorite, Doug, try Sublime. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's really good, guys. That is slicker than any other one. The only one that might be close to that would be PNS Absolute and 100% transparency. Not a big fan of that one. I get a little streaking with that one. So, and it's not a bad product, it's slick. I use that one on interiors more than anything. In fact, took it out of my cupboard because I don't use it at home very much, right? So, got the Hydra, got O&R, got Pearl. This one works great on bug guts. But as far as lubricity, sublime. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this car up. Follow me on Instagram to detail it. I'm gonna have some pictures when I'm done and it's completely clean. I do not wanna keep you on board for all of that because it's just boring. And long videos are just long, nothing else. I've got no technical information, guys. I can just show you what I did, tell you what I do, what I used, how to mix it, before and after. Still can't tell slickness because I'm already perspiring because I'm fat. But you can see the panel. And I guess you're gonna have to take my word for it. Slickest ever. So if you're not using this product, I can honestly say, <laughs> I'm gonna have to probably buy some more of this stuff. That is far and away the slickest I've ever felt. And I just bought a gallon of their soap too. Holy cow. That was a little pricey. It was like 52 bucks with shipping for a gallon of soap. I'd rather put the 52 bucks on a gallon of that. It's amazing. So anyway, I know a lot of rambling, not so much work. Let's do another little bit of this trunk lid. Keep you on board for it real quick. Just so we can do more work and less bullshit. Yeah. Probably not supposed to say that. God. Feels like it's got air under it. The ball bearings. That is so smooth. Look at that dirt. Absolutely impressed. Absolutely blown away. And obviously, if you're worried about scratching, use more towels, less passes per towel. Like what I'm doing right now, somebody out there is cringing and yelling at the screen. But again, I live in the real world, guys. I'm not going to use 25 towels in two hours to do a waterless wash on my car. Or waterless, rinseless, whatever. There you go. Dang. Sensational sensational sublime that's where it's at thanks again guys